Now, fights of the year do not always depend upon really frenetic action, real up and down action, particularly not when there's a dearth in skill. Now, if we look at something like Tyson Fury against Deontay Wilder, barring the really spectacular last round, there simply wasn't the action throughout to really be able to say it was an amazing, real great fight. Alternatively, we had the likes of Derek Chisora against Carlos Takam, loads of action and a spectacular knockout. But there just wasn't the skill level there. The real high caliber stuff that makes you remember it fondly it wasn't really an aesthetic fight to appreciate. Way south though of heavyweight, 115 pounds, super flyweight. On the 24th of February this year, we had Srisakat Rungvasai, the WBC champ from Thailand, take on outstanding challenger from Mexico, Juan Francisco Estrada. In terms of the blend of skill, intensity and just a really vivid clash of styles I think it really was a quality fight you had Estrada the textbook boxer counter puncher start really well neat feet neat hands everything works together really well very well balanced he was pinging him lovely with the straight right hand then as it got to the middle rounds the naturally really rugged physically strong power punch and southpaw Rungvasai starts slugging it with that left hand to the pit of the stomach, to the head. He fights during those in-between moments that aren't uh, really agreed upon. He really breaks your rhythm. He does one twos and two ones, leaping in with the jab. As I say, he doesn't neglect the body. He's just always slugging away. He's got that audacity about him where he just makes it work. Real great. But then what was so special about this fight, even though I felt the right winner was Rungvasai for winning the majority of the middle rounds, you had the natural boxer, Estrada, kind of almost inverting his style, realizing he was behind and slugging it out in that last round, just going against the natural style and just out hustling the naturally stronger man in that last round. The will to win from both of them, really good. Now there was Canelo Alvarez against Gennady Golovkin. I'm aware of that. Ring Magazine later said, one for the ages, but I think that was overcooking it. It was a really good fight, very uh, high impact as well, very very consistent and, and very good, but without being spectacular. But is it just me? Similar to the first fight, it still felt like neither of them really cut loose in the fight. They were kind of leaving something behind. Might have been age-related on Golovkin's bath, and also with Canelo, his stamina isn't the best, but it resulted in a fight that was... It did more in the rematch, but it still didn't make the explosion we expected. And it's not just weight related. It's not just the fact Rungvisai and Estrada are smaller so they can mill away for longer. It's partly to do with the fact that on the lower weights, they know the public perception. It's slightly prejudiced. They know there's more of a pressure on them to entertain. And as a result, they just really went for it. As I say, high quality, contrasting styles, beautiful stuff. Now, I really hope they do fight again, get that rematch next year, because it definitely was the best fight I saw this year.